Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about why I'm a vegan. Yeah, so let's get to it. So the first thing we wanna start with is uh, really what triggered me becoming a vegan or thinking about it. Last year, starting these story time Sundays, really researching and getting to know God, he started to have little uh, signs, messages pop up, whether it be on YouTube, seeing vegan mukbangs. Uh, I would go to watch my Netflix movies and I would get suggested for vegan movies to watch. And so I would start watching those, watching documentaries. Um, I would go to my grocery store and see options of vegan options popping up in the grocery aisles. And I would say, there's something to this. Cause you know, God talks to us in so many different ways. If we are aware, if we keep our eyes open and our senses open, everything that we do is connected. And so I started to get dig deeper into this and wonder, what is this vegan thing about, okay? And so for me, I'm a big researcher. So before I jump into anything, I don't follow crowds, I don't follow fads. For me, it's about figuring out what this is about, um, is it harmful to your body? Uh, what's the benefits of it? And you know, okay, could I really realistically do this with my lifestyle? And so that's when I went to watching films, watching documentaries on Netflix that would pop up. And some of those that popped up, I have them here, some of them that popped up that really opened my eyes to really why I became vegan was Cowspiracy. I watched that movie, um, Forks Over Knives, I watched that, uh, Vegucated, and also Food Matters. I watched so many, but those were some that I watched. And they really opened my eyes out to seeing and recognizing that, whoa, okay, stop. Um, yeah, I don't wanna be a part of contributing to harming animals, so that's why I'm becoming vegan. I have always been a healthy type person, even being a vegetarian. Um, I work out six out of seven days a week, so weight has never been an issue for me. But for some vegans, some people discover veganism through getting their bodies right. Eating what's good and clean on the inside and seeing that manifest on, from, on the outside through their weight loss, through clearer skin, you know, more energy, being more vibrant. Um, you know, from there, after watching the movies and realizing, oh, I'm not gonna harm animals, I don't wanna harm any animals, and so yes, I'm gonna go for uh, trying being a vegan from a vegetarian to a vegan. And you know, you might be saying, oh, you went from a vegetarian to a vegan, you weren't really eating meat that much anyway, but let me tell you, I still was eating fish, you know, and not realizing that fish had those feelings too, you know, and so, I recommend if you are currently a meat eater and you're interested in going vegan that you watch people on YouTube. I always say YouTube is an amazing engine for those who are wanting to learn something new or start something new or reach out to those who are doing it, right? So if you want to learn what do I eat in a day, you want to put in that in YouTube. What does a vegan eat in a day? And you're going to get a loads and loads of people. We're talking about uh, from guys to, to women, bodybuilders, people who are moms with have children who are vegan. I mean, there are so many groups of people on YouTube that are sharing, happily sharing their way of life with you on what they eat in a day. So that's what I recommend you do as well. So take the foods that you enjoy eating and veganize them research those alternatives that's going to fulfill you in that way. So like we have a holiday coming up, um, shooting this video, Labor Day will be coming up soon. People are going to be on the grills, they're going to be having their hamburgers, hot dogs, all that stuff that we can veganize, right? You can get a vegan hot dog, get some vegan chili or prepare vegan chili at home, get some vegan cheese, melt that down on top of that and you have a chili dog, but it's vegan, okay, on a bun. You can also have your hamburgers too, just like them, but yours is a vegan 
hamburger with lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, and all that good stuff. And hey, vegan mayo. Also, uh, ketchup, mustard, and all that good stuff. And if you want to make chili a it, you can go ahead and make you some vegan chili or buy vegan chili and smack that right on top of that hamburger and enjoy yourself some Labor Day with your family and your friends. When you do decide to go out to restaurants with your friends or someone and they may and you may be trying to decide what you want to eat. What I normally do when I'm going with meat eater friends, I normally look at the restaurant that we're going to go to. I look ahead of time. I might look on Yelp at their reviews. I might look at their menus on their websites to see what I can veganize. What's veganized? I like uh, sometimes I get a number of sides that just simply sides, no added butter, no added um, cheese and all that. And I make a nice wholesome meal. Um, and I do this before I get with my friends because I don't want people to be uncomfortable and think oh she's that vegan girl um yeah oh, oh my gosh oh, we, we gotta go eat somewhere else because selena's a vegan you know i don't want people to feel uncomfortable my job as a vegan is to enjoy my food but plant seeds as i go along and so that's what i do and the same thing in god's word he wants to plant his seeds along the way through us but not pounded over people's heads and that's when people start becoming uh you know standoffish from you not wanting to be around you because you're that girl or you're that guy because you're pounding it on top of their heads but you want to show them examples if people see examples of things changing your life or you're becoming more a different person more vibrant or they love the food the way your food looks on your plate they're going to want to try it too or they're going to want to ask you what are you doing because wow you look great guy or you look great girl what are you doing so they're going to want to know that so that's what i do when i go out anywhere if i know i'm going to be out or if i know i'm not going to make it home to make my own dinner at home which i do seem to cook a lot more at home because i'm finding that when i do eat out i do feel a little bit of a difference in my digestive tract uh so i find that when i eat clean at home veganized I don't have those stresses to my digestive system things flow well it's just it's just a whole nother clean level it seems to be even when I do eat vegan out uh, so that's another thing but then when I do have to go out to eat or I have to do some workout and I can't get home to cook I always take food with me or I will uh, find my favorite restaurants and note them in my phone so I can get to them get something to eat and I'm good to go then all your concerns. I mean, when I started being a vegan, I was concerned about my cheese and my ice cream, which I have showed you guys in a previous video. And so I had to research different cheeses. Here on YouTube, you can find people that has reviewed different vegan cheeses to give you an insight on how the texture of the cheese. Is it going to be sharp or is it going to be, you know, something like a mozzarella? Uh, what can I use that for? And which ways I can, you know, maneuver it into dishes. And so that's another alternative that you can do and I found cheese that just works for me and I use it for my pizzas I use it for my lasagnas I mean hey the skies are the limit once you uh, open your eyes and open your mind to the information that's available to you right here on this platform and so if there was anything I can say as far as my health wise I say that the bloating you know, us women, we're going into that TOTM, okay, that time of the month, and at times we get bloated. I've noticed being a vegan that I don't have that much bloated feeling down there. Mood swings. Some of us have PMS. We all know about that, okay? And so that has also digressed a bit. I know it's there sometimes. I'm more aware, but it's very slight. It's milder, I can say. So what I've put in and changed for, to this vegan way, eating more even more clean I've realized whoa the time of the month comes and goes and I'm not as moody hmm so that's pretty nice I find myself being still and then adding on the spiritual perspective as well as eating clean I mean it has really you know balance me out very well and i wish you luck on your vegan journey take your time start a couple days a week monday wednesday friday uh trying a vegan after you've done your research after you've done the things that i mentioned earlier in this video start monday wednesday friday then add on monday through friday then add on a whole week 
see how you're doing, how you're feeling, how you're vibing with it, you know? Take your time. Don't beat yourself over the head. Don't tell everybody that you're becoming a vegan and you're just starting out. Test the water secretly with yourself first because you're gonna have people that say, oh, why are you doing that? You, how are you gonna get your vitamins and your minerals? You get all of that through the clean foods that you're eating. Your beans, your, uh, you know, your grains, you know, your everything, the vegetables, fruits and vegetables. Oh my gosh, there's so many ways that you can do fruits and vegetables, grains, beans, nuts, uh, uh, herbs, spices. so many ways you can not uh, put those together to create the vitamins and minerals you need. They also have smoothies that people love to do and eat, um, take in as well you can do. But there's so many ways. And energy, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hyper right now. And I haven't had anything outside the ordinary but uh, all clean fruits and vegetables and grains. Okay? And my raisins and all that good stuff. So energy-wise, you will have the energy there. If you're not having energy now, you may want to talk to your doctor. Get a full physical and see what's going on with you. Because it may be something that you're eating now that's causing that. A lot of people are transitioning from eating too much gluten, which gluten is an issue for some people. So you really have to realize first, is there something going on with you that's causing this energy loss, you know? And most of the time, it's what you're putting in your body to consume as far as food goes. And also making sure that you exercise because exercise is keeping the, bi the, the body elastic and mobile to work for you, okay? And watch out how much stress you're putting on your body from people, from things that are external, outside of your body, because that all weighs you down in a non-physical way. And so make sure you're checking that as well. So I hope this video helped you. I'm gonna get off now, so I'm not talking your head off, but I hope you enjoyed this video on why and how and what I became a vegan and I hope it helps you in the future. So I hope you have a fantastic day and yeah, sending you many love, much love, peace and blessings. Talk to you soon. Bye.